The Mason-Dixon Historical Park celebrated the 33rd annual Mason-Dixon Line Festival and Buckwheat Festival with more than a dozen vendors and dozens of visitors from all over enjoying buckwheat cakes prepared by the local Red Hat Society chapter. Visitors also got to learn more about the science and math behind the Mason-Dixon Line as the local Surveyors Historical Society displayed vintage equipment as well as some of the most top-of-the-line equipment surveyors use today. Mr. Mason and Mr. Dixon were uh, contracted to come and settle the dispute once and for all and determine where those, uh, what are now state boundaries are. So they came over, they were very accomplished mathematicians, uh, astronomers and surveyors, and so they relied on celestial observations to run a straight line as near as they could with their technology of the day from the beginning of their line, which is the corner that you'll see on a map of Maryland now, and they ended here. We just really appreciate everybody coming out and, and enjoying the day. Um, it's really important for us to be able to put events on for the community to come out and enjoy, um, especially when it's celebrating the historical significance of the park. That's something that's really important to us. Although the survey Mason and Dixon conducted themselves ended at the top of the hill of the now park, the line was continued to the corner of Pennsylvania by other surveyors. All the work Mason and Dixon did still stands today as the state boundaries more than 250 years later.